be able to see you got Larry Bird trash talking. We ain't gonna say nothing. We ain't gonna say nothing. We ain't gonna say nothing. But Sean here got a lot to say about Larry Bird. But we gonna we gonna get into it. You feel me? We gonna get into it. You gonna be we gonna be speaking throughout the whole video, right? All right. Hit that like button, subscribe button. Let's get a video. So we playing him in the last the last play. He says uh, to James Worthy, he said, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over there at that corner. He said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. He's telling us to play before Started they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. They take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ. the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out, man curl right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three, <laughs> game over. It. <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> go to shake his hand. I'm a rookie. I'm playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. I'm going to shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. He wouldn't shake my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. Crazy. <laughs> First play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in the league, Holmes. And he shoots a three. Now, I wasn't mad that he made the three. But I said, did this some bitch this called me Holmes? <laughs> and, and, he, and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the break net pitch, and I jump up and I throw it down on him. Right? I mean, he fouls me. And he said, hey, Rook, I like you. You got heart. He said, but I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, that's Talk who he shit. was. But that was the only time he ever so, so talked to trash shit. to me. Because he respected me because he knew and that Kevin I was going to keep coming. That Very really blessed. taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I always tell this, people, this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Wait, who's the white guy you I, put I, on I, him? I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he knows he says it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He never told Robert Reedy the other state that he should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> that was funny. Who's that last? Like? You know, Larry Burr ain't never playing no great defense. He like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. I'm not wearing about guard. I said, man, shoot it in the face. Mark hit a three-pointer on Larry, on Larry Bird, and uh, and said, and said, and said, take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three, three three-pointers in a row, and just basically, basically said to him, and we all heard it that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it? The ball went to Larry, and Isaiah was all out of, out of whack. He had the ball at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, he ran out there and just shot it, three-pointer. Too late. was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. And then you sit there and you go, I'm just going up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so why? confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. The coach took me out of the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump. And as I go by, <laughs> I go by him. He tells me, he says, fly, Bird. And, he, and I go right by him, he shoots the ball, it's nothing but nylon. Larry Bird was a pain in the yeah. neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird. You don't think that's a goat, You don't think that's a goat? You ever got in trouble, get the ball to Larry was, and get out of his way, and he delivered. The double team in Bird, Larry, fake, fall away. Do you remember? Well, you I had the Bird down night. I had the Bird night. night. Yeah. Yeah. You got who over who? I got KD over. He more close than KD. Kevin Durant over Larry Bird. Yes, indeed. Y'all heard it here first. Bro, listen, bro. Y'all heard it here first. You can't make that up, bro. Like, let's be for real, bro. The era they're playing in, bro, I ain't knocking nobody, bro, but they just were lazy, bro. They were more like, I want to put this in the terms for not everybody on my head, bro. 
Larry Bird versus KD, bro. Who are you taking? Larry Bird. Why do you say that? Look what you're doing. You're talking about old Larry Bird, right? Yeah. KD. What KD? It don't matter because he's not going to be over Larry Bird. No, KD's beating Larry Bird, bro. You dead ass serious. I'm so serious, bro. Who else can beat Larry Bird? I throw LeBron in there. I'm gonna put it. You see how long it has to take you? Because I'm trying to, to match it up, bro. Because like to put somebody in, like there's no way, bro. There's no, especially Kevin Durant, bro. Were you crazy, bro? Listen, bro. KD, when it comes down to it, KD's going to play better defense than that man Larry Bird, and he's he scores better than him. Larry Bird can probably shoot. You know what I'm saying? Let's watch some more of this video. <laughs> and then we gonna we gonna see what y'all thoughts are. Tough this. night, man. You know, keep keep one off. Night keep one off. You only scored six on me. You know? <laughs> but did, you, <laughs> nobody was guarding Bird, were they? That wasn't even him. No, 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 but when when a guy is literally <laughs> coming up the court, calling his shots, uh, and you know Bird talked a lot of trash. Uh, um, and that's but, in New Orleans. That's in New Orleans, and that game we're on the free throw line. And he's like, he literally says, uh, bro, you left side it. over uh, oh, across the three. Shit, bro. And you're listening to him. That's, that's bro, a he's tough He's basically feeling. walking around but, him, bro. Okay, so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello, I think. For, and, and Eddie Johnson for celebrating. Celebrating Bird. Yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. That's he's, a body. He's the greatest season, bro. Session That's a body. KD ever. is almost because seven foot. Back then, you didn't have, you know, you watched the game. Look at this, bro. And just went. Look at, look, look. That's three. You, that's wild. three people. Go back. Go back, bro. But you're. Oh, that's back. just like, you cannot no. make this up, bro. Sean, that's just like you saying. That's just like if you go somewhere. You know that you good, right? And you see all the other people that you probably see him for like, oh, he not that bad. Oh, he not this. He not that. Bro, that's you think that's they fault that they can't guard him? Guess, bro. Play. I want you. To, this is my prime example. Watch it's what happens here. Game. Bro. Watch what and happens. And just here. went, you know, with a video. They just and, all sat like, up, rewound bro. the celebration. Is that his fault? Who, Larry Bird? Yes. No. Then he just not, answered your own question. About, I'm talking about the era he's playing in, bro. Bro, you put Larry Bird, young Larry Bird, in today's era, bro. He's not. I feel like he just scored a cool little 15, bro. But he's not doing too much, bro. In today's era, Larry Bird would not be Larry Bird. His name wouldn't be as big. <laughs> Especially with the teams now, bro. Bro, I'm just saying, bro. That's just my take on it, bro. Everyone gasses. Okay, let me answer this. Answer this. Answer this. Who you put over Kobe? Michael Jordan. Uh, let's start this. Oh, you're crazy! Times. He just kept re not the shot. He just kept rewinding it, showing the guys. You remember they're giving each other high five. And then, and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah, yeah that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter, uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other high five. And our film session was 20 <laughs> minutes of that. <laughs> So it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense on no, Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> and it, it, it was. Uh, I think Bird uh, went by the bench one time too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, "Off the glass into the trainer." And, uh, <laughs> no yeah, and so. Um, it was a bad night. And when Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball, just, every shot was going in. Goodbye, she's gone. I guess the two-pointer was too close. And when he ran by the bench, he goes, that's a heat check. Just see how hot I am. All right, he runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench that can guard me? He goes, so nobody out here can. Frank looked down the bench, and goes, no. <laughs> Uh, he'll look at you like, hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to guard me because I'm killing this guy. In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. 
Chuck Person, he definitely has his reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL. You know, and he just went to work. Chuck and Larry down low, greedy one another once again. Bird! Oh, he has caught fire. Oh, he stopped him! And had something to say afterwards. And look at Bird. Person didn't dare look at him. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've been known Chuck for a while and we've always had run-ins, but... Uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. The last <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word has made for many a magic moment. Times, and this we week, we relive the game when Larry was, was in rare form. Seconds. And Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. Tie game. 13 seconds to play. Celtics basketball. No shot clock. They call the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. And then the time out, I'm going for a play. And I tried this for more run. All right, uh, then she got the ball, you go over here, and uh, all right, you uh, pass the I'm, I'm waiting for the video. Okay. And why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? Now, after the time out, we, we walk back on the court, Larry's going down to his position, so he tells the baby, he says, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. Ten seconds. Like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I walked back to the little sideline like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time. Larry was complaining to the refs. And I was eight. complaining to the refs. Don't say and that. the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. That's how like I summarize it. The 84 Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bro, bunch of pros, up, including Larry Bird, oh. and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced <laughs> down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over Jordan's head. As if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. I got a pull hamstring. So I'm not playing tonight. He walks yeah, down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing. But I, he said, I'm going to tell you what. Since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. So you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. I want to hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Every time he hit one, he look at me. I remember we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. But KC called timeout. It won't count. It does not count. Washington had called a timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and, you know, he was a little upset. He looks at uh, the bench and says, uh, Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm gonna go right to the same spot and I'm gonna kick it in. He told Washington, I'm gonna get the ball. Yeah. Hey, I think it's a part two, dude. The ball looks by one. Aims to Bird, he gets a good shot in the Celtics winner. Boy, this is you can have it, Bro, I feel like you just, I feel like what it is is you in denial about this shit, bro. I feel like what what you doing is you in denial about it, bro. Listen, if you bro, actually yeah. think about this shit, you're in denial about it. You just said, oh, they just throw their hands up, they don't contest the shot. Listen, you're yeah. saying literally everything that that man don't have control over. If you if you make it make sense, you're saying everything that he don't have control. Over. So basically, what you're trying to say is, is that all the people that Larry Bird has went against that was in this video and in other highlights suck. That's not what I'm saying. That has to be what you're saying. My argument is Larry Bird is not beating KD. See, now he's saying the same shit over and over. Cause I, that was my argument. I'm not saying y'all saying the people suck and stuff, bro. Listen, KD is way too defensive of a player to be guarding Larry Bird. I mean, uh, for Larry Bird to be guarding him. 
No, no, no. Cause you gon' he gonna go on your side, bro. You said you said make it a fair argument. Cause he gonna. I'm not. It ain't no argument. It's a question. Listen, bro. It's a question. Damn, you just got me killed. Hot. We in a video. Huh? We in a video. Don't say nothing crazy. I'm recording. Ah. Okay. What's up? Okay. So we we reacting to Larry Bird, right? Yeah. Sean thinks I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Who is being who? Kevin Durant or Larry Bird? You say who is who's beating who? Yeah. Old Larry Bird or Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant. Told you. Told you. Told you. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because Larry Bird didn't have no no defense. Like he wasn't. He wasn't like as far as if it was a three point contest. Like Larry Bird, Larry Bird. automatic, but as far as like, um, as far as like defense, like all around game, that's the ring. Like Larry Bird didn't have no hops. I'm not no, I'm not no Durant fan though. I think I that's, either, but I think that's what it is. I think Larry Bird got. I think he got. I think he handled. That's just me personally. He he just. I mean, and he he's, he was nice. I mean, you know, he's considered one of the greatest. You know, top he top he top uh, top fifty definitely. You know, NBA, but he is he not he, a, he not a Kobe like fan either. So I can't even ask him who better is Kobe. Uh, he gonna say LeBron over him, Michael uh, Jordan. He probably even gonna say he probably even gonna say he probably even gonna say Victor Oladipo better than uh. <laughs> man, he say that you got him go. Much who better? Who better than Kobe? Who better than Kobe? Yeah. You gonna have this conversation with me? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan? LeBron? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. You know who I think the greatest of all time is. I think it's LeBron. I think he's. You can't argue with it. You can't. I'm a Kobe wow. fan too, so I can't. Kobe, Kobe, Mike, and LeBron, that's top three. That's top three. And, and, oh, and, okay. and depending on, depending on, you know, who you like more or whatever is the order you put them in, but I would go Ron, MJ, Kobe. Like, that, that, that would be, that's, that's my. Bro, they both failing me right now, bro. There's <laughs> no way. Bro. Like, and I wasn't a Kobe fan, but you can't take nothing from his game at all. What order would you put them in, like all around, meaning off the court and in the court, like on the court? Off the court and on the court. Yeah. LeBron, I mean, his 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 off the court. I mean, if you think about it, he ain't never been involved in no scandal. Uh, he's been married to his high school sweetheart. Uh, he's the, one of the first. I think he's the first NBA player that's a billionaire while he's still playing. I mean, there's two. NBA players that are bill or ex NBA players that are billionaires, and that's Michael Jordan. And I forget the other guy's name. He made his money like off of uh, real estate, but but um, you know LeBron just—I mean his investments. He's smart. Uh, he met with like Warren. I said the top. Yeah. Bro, he will go on about LeBron, bro, the whole time. Dude. Stuff, and I think that's like huge. Um, what about the other two? Kobe, Kobe was to me. Kobe was a great father. Um, Here you go. <laughs> Kobe should be first. Bro, I'm a Kobe. Fan, bro. So, um, he he, he up. had some controversy. Michael Jordan has had controversy. I mean, Michael Jordan was tied to his uh, <clears throat> was tied to his father uh, getting murdered. You know, and, and I don't know that that's true, but you know, it was it was uh, rumored, you know, around his gambling debt or whatever about his father. You know, that that he was a part of the reason his father was murdered. But um, I mean, Kobe, of course, he had to cheat in Colorado, where uh, you know it, it became a big deal. But I mean, I think you can you can overcome that. I think one of I think more than even that was when Kobe kind of tried to throw Shaq under the bus with it is where a lot of people 
was kind of off Kobe. Uh, because they like, there ain't got you to sell your homeboy down the river because you got caught up. But uh, like I said, uh, LeBron just he he doesn't have there's there's not like no scandal. There's there's nothing, and I ain't saying he's perfect. Nobody's perfect, but he's uh, just he's saying LeBron perfect. He's he's <laughs> LeBron biggest fan, bro. Him. Don't let him, I'm telling you, he's <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> big, he will argue with you all day every day about LeBron. Like he he definitely swear to God, bro. Uh, deserves some credit for that. And, uh, what is video about the uh, end? Uh, the camera about the dog. But y'all right. already here first, man. Y'all already know. Hey, LeBron number one, MJ, and then uh, Larry Bird's like number like forty eight. All right. Golly. All right. Um, forty eight is. Mm. I don't know, though. Y'all let us know y'all thoughts, man. Let us know y'all thoughts. Yeah, this one is a little low. Good <laughs> job, nigga.